water nerds, always welcome your feedback. And this week we got a comment requesting a video on Ypsilanti Michigan drinking water. So here it is. Let's start with disinfection byproducts or DBPs. DBPs are formed when chlorine-based disinfectants that are routinely added to the water supply to kill bacteria react with organic matter. According to the most recent report, Ypsilanti had elevated levels of DBPs, especially trihalomethanes. Concentrations of trihalomethanes ranged from 32 to 67 parts per billion. For a bit of perspective, EPA's maximum contaminant level for trihalomethanes is 80 parts per billion. Health and regulatory agencies have very little knowledge about the adverse health effects of DBPs and their toxicity. EPA has stated that they've been linked to an increased risk of bladder cancer, as well as kidney, liver, and central nervous system problems. Several industrial metals were also detected in Ypsilanti drinking water. The report detected strontium and vanadium, which are both used when making electronics and steel. Chromium-6 was also detected, which is a highly toxic metal that is currently unregulated by the EPA. Chromium-6 pollution is associated with metal processing, tannery facilities, chromate production, stainless steel welding, and pigment production. Concentrations of chromium-6 average 0.22 parts per billion for Ypsilanti drinking water. For a bit of perspective, this is nearly 10 times higher than the level experts say has a negligible impact on cancer risk. If you have any questions about this report or anything else water-related, drop us a line at hello at hydroviv.com or visit hydroviv.com and use our live chat. Our water nerds are based in Washington, D.C. and can answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.